Frame Pop from Stupid Raisins comes with 25 professionally designed and animated picture-in-picture -picture templates for Final Cut Pro. Frame Pop was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro. You can find it in the Effects browser under Frame Pop. There are a variety of frames to choose from, broken up into categories, plus helper backgrounds located in the Titles browser. I've got a clip of a model looking at the camera on my timeline, stacked over another background clip. Let's create a picture-in-picture -picture composition. I like the Polaroid look of the simple O1 preset. I'll drop it on my clip. In the on-screen controls, I can scale and position the entire frame, and also the image within the frame. In the parameters, we have lots of choices for in and out animations, like fade, grow, glitch, and some motions like slide or spin. The through animations are little flourishes that happen for the duration of the clip. We can control the speed and intensity of those as well. Zoom options includes a media rotation effect. I can use the full to small checkbox to go from full screen to an inset picture in picture and then choose the corner to auto animate to. You can further fine tune the final position of the full frame and the media within the frame as well. To finish the look, we can edit the text label on the frame, plus the colors of the frame and the piece of tape attached to it. And there are also inside shadow and drop shadow controls. Frame Pop from Stupid Raisins gives you cool animated frame effects for your still images and video footage. It's perfect for all of your picture-in-picture -picture needs, for everything from motion graphics to interviews to social media. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.